Hi, this is Dr. Mario, and I want to welcome you to Health, Spice, and Life. And this is a new segment that we're doing, which is called El Cafecito Corner. So it's really about a conversation between you and me in this space, given the fact that everybody's in quarantine right now. And I want to thank you for being here with us. It's so exciting to be back here at the Health, Spice, and Life show so we get to reconnect. And what I want to talk about today in this particular segment is now we're starting to get out of the quarantine phase and it's time to start reconnecting once again. And I want to extend a very warm invitation to that process. And before we get into that, I want to say, well, it's about the cafecito corner, the little cafe coffee. So I want to say to your health, and here we go. To your health, wherever you may be. One of the things that happened today, which is actually important to, to have as an update, is the fact that here in the United States, the lead person that has been uh, assisting the president of the United States to talk about what's happening with coronavirus release a new set of news. And it's actually key to talk about this because now the different states and different parts of the world are going back to life, not exactly as we knew it, but certainly reintegrating ourselves back to it. And one of the things that we're noticing is that people really wanna get out of this crisis. They want to start going back to their lives and what happens with that is that it's almost like we forget what we have been through. And there's still a lot of people who are sick still, people who are dealing with the virus, people who may be infected with the virus and are not even aware that that is the case. And just like we do in medicine, if let's say you go through surgery and somebody puts, you know, a surgeon puts stitches on your skin, there is a time where we start to feel better in our overall condition and we feel like, okay, you know, nothing ever happened, I'm great, surgery is gone, and we seem to forget that that happened. That is exactly, to some extent, what's also happening here with the coronavirus. People want to go so back to their lives as they knew it, that is almost as though we start to forget that this is still ongoing, it's still happening, there's people who are still getting sick and getting infected. So let's not completely forget what we've been through in the planet over the past two months or so, and be cautious about that. Let's just not lose our common sense. Let's not lose our sense of, you know, the, the logical stuff to do, which is, you know, yes, I want to reconnect with people again. Yes, we're yearning to see family members, to be with them, but not to forget that, in fact, there's still some precautions that we want to take. And, you know, wherever you are in the world right now and watching Health, Spice, and Life, the English version of La Hora Super Latina, I just let me know where you're at, and if you have any questions, we'll love to engage this conversation. I have some amazing news to share with the audience. A couple of years back, as some of you may know, we were creating the pilot uh, series for my show for national TV here in the United States to be broadcast to all the different countries in this hemisphere, all the Latin countries, as well as some of the countries in Europe. And we had been in that process for some time, and the show had not materialized. And I have some amazing news to share with you, which is that the show is actually going to come to life as the Health, Spice, and Life show. And it's going to start going live every Wednesday, starting on June 3rd, just in a few weeks away, within a show which is currently going on on syndicated TV here in the United States called The Daily Flash. So this is amazing news, super excited, because finally we are going to have representation of American TV as Latinos, that billion people that we either speak Spanish or we have Latino heritage or simply people that just love our healthy, spicy Latino culture. So this is amazing news and I can't wait to see you, see your people, see uh, the comments that are going to happen once people start to see the show. So all of you who were part of the uh, pilot who've been reaching out, Dr. Mario, when is this happening? I, I want to thank you so much for actually reaching out to us and supporting the initiative because finally it's here. As we move on into this segment, uh, I just want to call uh, your attention to something that really uh, is an important part of, of where we're going and what's been going on right now. Many people have reached out to us and to me and written to me and called me and said, you know, I, I feel so depressed right now. What a tough time we're going through collectively in the planet. So many people have lost their jobs. They, they're really having a hard time with this. Financially, it's been uh, very difficult for many, and I'm aware of that. And that also has a huge impact in the experience of health and how people feel. And um, so what do we do with that? And I personally have felt all of that uh, as a physician as well and how this has impacted everything that we do. 
And I want to tell you is that this is a huge opportunity that we may not see in this lifetime again to have a strong invitation to see how do I reinvent myself. And that is absolutely an invitation that we cannot just simply disregard. And thanks to all the people who are checking in, Alan and Rachel, thank you so much for saying hi, guys. Good to see you. Um, this is an amazing opportunity to simply say, how am I going to reinvent myself? How to reconnect once again with what really makes me tick, what, what really makes me passionate. And we have all had those moments where we felt this is something that I feel like I'm in an all-time high because I, I feel that's my calling. And then life goes on. We just go into different directions, and we completely forget that. Hi, Emily. And, and this is an amazing opportunity that we're having to simply say, how am I going to reinvent myself? How am I, Hector, saludos. How am I going to reconnect with that? And this is what Health Spice and Life Show is about. That's the essence of the show, right? So it's a moment to say, how am I going to reconnect with that? And I want you to take inventory of those things because they really have meant a lot for you during the course of your life. And like I said, sometimes we simply forget about it. Now that we are in this period, we're just simply at home. Where we're simply just having this opportunity. It is so great to simply take the time because we're all in. And so rather than just watching TV all day, it's a, it's a moment to say, okay, what am I going to do from this point on? So I like to actually call this the reinvent you. So hashtag it, reinvent you. Take the time to do that. Take the time to slow down. We're not completely done with this process. And you will see how many things as we've known it, they're going to change. And it's going to really open up new opportunities for us to say, okay, who am I going to be? How am I going to contribute? How am I going to create value for the world as I move into that new phase? And, and this show, since it's our new home, especially for the billion Latinos or people who speak Spanish, it's a great opportunity to connect with that, you know, that the passion that really makes us who we are. And one of the things that, that I would love to hear from you, and I'm going to call you in to share with us as we continue to have this uh, El Cafecito Corner, is just to share those experiences, whether it's yourself, whether it's somebody you know who has actually used this moment to reconnect with those things. Lastly, um, I want to thank all the different healthcare workers out there who've given themselves, and some of the people that are writing uh, comments here, they're friends of mine who are in medicine as well. Um, and thank you so much for really, uh, you know, putting yourself on the lines for connecting with people, serving people. Uh, it's not an easy thing, but it's, it's something that is praiseworthy. And we're so grateful for you, whether you're nurses who are watching this, healthcare practitioners, or somebody who's actually involved in the world of healthcare. I can't thank you enough on behalf of the show. Uh, also, and lastly, uh, I also want to bring uh, to, to the attention that this is going to pass and we'll be able to look back and say, you know, the, the most important question we'll be asking ourselves, what did I do with that time? How did that change me? How did I actually come out of it recreating myself and creating so much value for others? That is a huge, huge moment. In order to walk with you as we get ready to be on the TV show, I'm going to be doing this every day in English and Spanish, and I'm excited to be sharing it. Uh, bring some of my dear friends in, in different uh, industries to share the space with us here in the Health Spice and Life show. And like I said, if you have any comments or suggestions or things that, that are happening to you, I really want to know it. Uh, I want you to treat the space as your home. I want you to treat the space as a place for us. And like I've said before in the past, uh, you know, coming up to the building of the show, even though uh, there's a billion Latinos out there or if, like, people of Latino heritage, this is not solely just for, for people who are Latinos. Um, I want you to share that and I invite you to do that. Let's just spread the word as we get closer and closer to being on national TV on just a few weeks from now. And especially if there's some people that you would like to see as part of the show to be guests, uh, we're welcome to receiving that. And... Uh, and welcome your, your suggestions as well, since we want you to feel, you know what, this show was absolutely for me. Before I leave, as I like to say, from my heart to your heart, I am Dr. Mario, who says to you, to your health. And I look forward to seeing you again here at El Cafecito Corner. Be well, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.